If you need to extrude components, you have a few options available to you. You can find them under the model toolbar under modify uh, poly mesh, and you can see we have extrude along axis and extrude along curve. The extrude options work for all of your components, so you can extrude, uh, you can extrude edges as well as uh, faces and vertices. There we go, and here's an extruded vert, uh, each of which have um, have particular uses for different scenarios. So uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the extrude along axis. So uh, we'll select a couple faces and we'll go ahead and uh, just go to polygon mesh, extrude along axis. Now these options, um, uh, you have a few options available to you. You have a length which will determine the length within units of the extrude. You have an inset amount which is roughly a scale, um, a scale offset from your original selection. So here we can go ahead and you can see that uh, we're scaling, uh, we're scaling uh, these polygons within uh, the original boundaries of our selection. You have an inset locked, which will determine an inset uh, based on uh, degrees and inst uh, degrees instead of uh, units. Um, you have uh, you have this duplicate polygon option, which will duplicate a pair, of, uh, which will duplicate your selection um, along the length of your extrude. Uh, if you use the subdivisions, uh, you'll get a uh, a pair or a slice of polygons per subdivision you use. This uh, object frame will determine uh, what frame of reference uh, your components will be extruded in. Uh, by default set to component, so we're extruding along the y-axis of our selected components. If we use object, it will go along the object model. You can um, set which uh, which uh, axes you would like to extrude along. Uh, in, in this case, uh, we're using Y and Z. Uh, you can set any combination of, uh, of axes that you like. This merge option will um, unmerge all of these polygons, so essentially you'll get an extrude per polygon. So if we brought, uh, if we brought in the Y axis, you can see that we get an extrude per polygon. Uh, if we go to our transform settings, um, you will have the ability to uh, transform your extrude. So if I were to go ahead and uh, just do a little rotate here, you can see that uh, it's rotating the end of our extrude and the more subdivisions you have, um, the different uh, kinds of looks, you'll be able to perform different uh, types of operations. Cool. So those are the uh, extrude along access options. If you need to extrude components along, uh, along a curve, you can do so. Just select your components, then go to Polygon Mesh, Extrude Along Curve. Um, you'll enter a picking session, so then select the curve you would like to extrude along, and you'll be prompted with your um, extrude options here. You can change the uh, start and end length of your extrude. You can, uh, just like the extrude along axis, you can duplicate uh, polygons and per subdivision you're going to get a slice. So we can up our subdivisions per knot and we can literally subdivide from here. Uh, the higher your subdivisions, the more closely your, uh, your extrude will match your curve. Uh, you have an inset amount. Uh, you can um, auto rotate so it will align the uh, curve uh, to be tangent with the uh, faces that you have selected. That will turn that uh, option on here. Um, the uh, perpendicular will take each polygon here. So if we turn this option on, it will have all of the polygons perpendicular to the curve. Um, so it will kind of remain. Uh, it will maintain its volume, uh, your extrude will maintain the volume along the curve, turning this option off, will just maintain the same orientation of the faces. Um, if you go to transform, uh, you have the same transform options as you did within your, uh, within your extrude along uh, axis. 
So here we're just adding a slight twist to our extrude. So roughly those are the extrude along curve options.